right, huge movie fanatics coming back at you with uh, who would I ever thought? I think they had to wait for Alfred Hitchcock to die before they could make this. Is that correct? I don't know if that's why. I, I know his protege kind of like who uh, studied for years either under or uh, like all of his movies is the person who made it, and he was selected to direct this movie, which is why it aesthetically looks a lot like the first movie in a lot of ways. Well, I, I think if you're gonna, if you, I think if you're gonna make Psycho two, I think whoever's got involved in doing it were properly chosen. I think that it, when you when you think of Psycho, and what is it, like 22 years later, I think I think that's what it said on the poster or something, and to come out with a sequel 22 years later, it's absolutely absurd. But I, I remember, even I, I can remember now, or even thinking about it now, it's it's so the movie is so twisted in, in as far as not knowing who's the killer, even after seeing it multiple times, sometimes I forget who the hell, the, and I might not even know who it is right now. Um, Do you uh, want a key, spoiler alert, I guess, should I tell you? Because I remember. Yeah, I guess so. It's his real oh, mother. Oh, yeah, 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 real mother. Which, and, uh, just so, maybe I forget that because it's kind of contrived. And it's very contrived. Okay. <laughs> But um, yeah, that that's. But I gotta tell you, long story short, I mean, I guess when it comes to like the Psycho sequels, I mean, I guess I grew up with them and stuff. I, I don't have a huge problem with them just because it's it's like the '80s and it's still obviously it's still Anthony. I always want to say Hopkins, it's Perkins, right? Perkins. Anthony it's, it's, Hopkins is him. Yeah, it's 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 still Anthony Perkins and. Uh, no, we're good. Okay. And I, I you know. Obviously, you're not gonna really com com compare with with the first Psycho, but I gotta tell you, I'm a, I'm a fan of the sequels. Just just I guess just for added, just bonus whatever Norman world. What what I liked about the sequels is that they were made in the '80s during the the rise of Michael Myers and. Uh, yeah. Jason and all this stuff, and it really wasn't those kind of movies. I mean, it, it, they started showing shocking violence in these movies because of those movies, but um, it, it still feels like the first movie in a lot of ways, um, at least in the structure of the storytelling. So that that's something I appreciate with the sequels. Yeah, and, and they got Jerry Goldsmith to do the score, which of course, I guess I kind of have a problem with, I mean, when you go from such a iconic score to kind of so something so different, I'm not too sure. I don't sure even how remember what the score of this it's is. It's very, very plain. It's yeah. not, you know, it's it's just it's serene and kind of just like a serene kind of a score. It's nothing big, but I guess maybe that follows the tone of the movie where it's <coughs> after been an institution for 22 years or whatever. It's not necessarily the psychotic kinetic. Did it, did it, did it, did it, yeah. You know, maybe yeah. maybe that's where the sereneness comes from and stuff. But I like the whole idea. I think the premise of the movie is pretty good for a damn sequel to Psycho, which is Vera Miles' character, the sister of Janet yeah, Lee's yeah. characters, so pissed off, and understandably so, from being released that she's spoiler alert. I mean, she basically is trying to with it manipulate him. Trying to drive him back crazy again. Yeah. I think it's a fantastic idea. Yeah. Which actually, he doesn't kill anyone in, in the movie except for his supposed his real mother. Real mother yeah. when, which is end. so ironic, as stupid as that is with the supposed real mother. It's, it's cool how at the end of the movie, the, the twist I like that's perfect about that is here he's just like, history repeats himself where he just kills, his, his real mother shows up and what's he do a minute later? Yeah. Kill her and now I, I have another body I can stuff in front of the window and, yeah. and at the very last shot of the movie the music cue is great it's like clone and it's like <clears throat> the yeah. sign turns on or whatever and he stands in front on the steps and like looks back at the window with the yeah. silhouette there fantastic we're gonna go actually three and a half stars for Psycho 2 um, fantastic and it almost makes you psycho like as it happens, and it's like, there's someone else, there's no one else in the house, Norman. And, and even, what's her name, the sister of whoever yeah. it is? Who, who is I, it? I can't remember. Uh, <clears throat> the sister of, what? Well, what's her name? I, I, I can't remember. No, I mean the other one. You can't remember any no, other names? No, I, <laughs> well, I, I anyway, we'll put her name, or maybe both of their names, <coughs> in red letters on the screen. But the sister of the more trashy, or yeah. the trashy one is in this, <laughs> which we can't remember any other names. And she does a good job at like, you know, she's 
that she's the daughter of Vera Miles' character, where she's basically help, helping to drive him crazy, and then later on she says, "Well, we don't, I don't like that we're doing this and whatever." Yeah. And fantastic. Would I say three and a half stars? Yeah. On to you. Um, when I first saw this, because I watched this sort of right after I watched Psycho, because I mean, why not? There's a sequel. Yeah, because we'll you do don't it. have to wait 22 years. Yeah, exactly. And so I watched it right afterwards, and I mean, the opening <laughs> scene is really cool where it takes up from the mother, oh god, mother, and then it turns oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. from black and white to color. The, the, at the yeah. now infamous shower scene. Yeah. And um, that scene is great, and then the movie just kind of went downhill for me after that, and I, I didn't. I didn't like the movie um, when I first saw it. Then I, years later in high school and stuff, I read the uh, Psycho book and I was like, uh, I found out there's two other Psycho books as well. My dad owns the second one, so I was like, hey, why not? I'll read Psycho 2. <laughs> Psycho 2 is just an absolute garbage book. Um, Norman Bates, spoiler alert, if you've never read Psycho 2, and I, I, do you care if I spoil it? I don't give a shit. Psycho 2 uh, follows him in the institution for a little while, it is like 20 years later or whatever, and um, he escapes and his psychologist, the person who's, <laughs> like he's trying to track him down and there's like this car accident and um, uh, you find out that Norman Bates is killed on like chapter 7 and the his psychologist who's been trying to uh, revert him becomes Norman Bates uh, throughout the rest of the movie and is killing people. Um, so oh. that's the that's so, what the second movie's about, and then there's a movie being made about Psycho in the book. Uh, in the book, and he uh, and so they think that Norman Bates is going to recreate the uh, incident um, from from the first book. So uh, so they chase Norman Bates to Hollywood, but not knowing Norman Bates is dead at this point, and really the psychologist is both the psychologist and Norman Bates, and starts killing the people. Uh, it, like it's. It's this really like terrible wow. book. So after I read the book, I put on Psycho 2 for the first time in like 10 years at that point. And, uh, <laughs> and I was like, you know, Psycho 2 ain't half bad. Like, it is convoluted as shit, but it's not as convoluted as the book was. So, uh, so uh, I, I give it props for that. And um, I, they, they really did a nice work at like making Norman grow. Like, you're rooting for him the whole movie and you want him to be left alone because he has recovered. And That's a point like, that's yeah, it's so well done, and that's like when we, my friends and I were watching. We watched the first two. Um, they were all just like, "Oh, Norman! Like, oh, we gotta, we we want to protect this guy. He he just needs a little love and affection, uh, and and whatnot." So, um, I, I grew to appreciate Psycho Two more with, with su subsequent viewings. I still have my problems with it, and I think it is overly violent, and that's something that came out of the whole yeah. Friday the Thirteenth and and stuff pushing the envelope, yeah. uh, specifically when the girl gets stabbed in the face, uh, from Psycho, that chick uh, gets stabbed in the face um, when she's oh, trying to... Oh, Vera Miles? Vera in Miles. the mouth. Yeah, uh, in the mouth, that's what it yeah, was. Yeah, that is pretty. It's just so graphic, so, uh, and needlessly so, because most of the rest of the movie isn't that graphic, but that is just like a, whoa, didn't need to see that. Um, I'll give it a, a really strong two and a half stars, it's verging on three, but I can't bring myself to quite do it, uh, but I, I, I do like, I, I would recommend people see this movie, <coughs> even with its flaws. Um, so yeah, that's Psycho 2. Psycho 2. <coughs> Sorry, we're dying. We're, f yeah, we're gonna go to the hospital after this. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I think this is the first ever documentation of how people got pneumonia. <laughs> very well could be. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you, we'll catch you next time on the Psycho 3 review.